the ancient remains of 5,000-year-old giants discovered in China. Many of the 5,000-year-old skeletons measure six feet or longer, making the Neolithic humans exceptionally tall for that time period. Archaeologists in China have made a stunning discovery, finding graves bearing the ancient remains of giant people buried approximately 5,000 years ago. The bones uncovered during an excavation in Shandong province in southeast China reveal at least one male individual who would have reached about 6 feet 3 inches in height, along with others measuring 5 foot 11 tall, making them giants in their own time who would have towered over their Neolithic counter uh, contemporaries. This is just based on the bone structure. The head of Shandong University School of History and Culture, Fang Hui, explained to China's state-run news agency Xinhua. He says if we, he was living a living person, his height would certainly exceed 1.9 meters. For context, in 2015, the average height of 18-year-old males in the region was 1.753 meters, that's 5 foot 9. According to Xinhua, the national average in 2015 was 5 foot 8. So it seems modern men of the same region are significantly shorter than many of these ancient forebears, even though men in China today would enjoy far better access to a range of healthy foods and live in an era when we know much, much more about nutrition. While we don't know for sure how tall the average height would have been in Shandong 5,000 years ago, European males in the period were thought to have stood only about 5 foot 5, so it's clear these giants were definitely unusually tall for their time. Fang's team has been conducting the dig in Jiao Jia village in Zhangqui district, Jinan city, and have so far excavated the ruins of 205 graves and 20 sacrificial pits along 104, alongside 104 houses. As to what gave these ancient individuals such impressive stature, the researchers think the people of what's called Longshan culture, named after Mount Longshan in Zhangui, had good food to thank for their healthy frames. Already agriculture at that time, people had diverse and rich food resources, and thus their physique changed, Fang told Jinghua. Another clue as to the giant's proportions lies in their ancient surroundings, the tallest of the men were found in large tombs, suggesting they had been important individuals of high status, giving them better access to good food and a comfortable existence. The layout of the ruins of houses found in the dig also indicate things like separate bedrooms and kitchens, decidedly comfortable conveniences for a village dating back around five millennia, and lending weight to the hypothesis that those living in Chao Jia did not have too much to complain about. In addition to a human, the human remains and building foundations, archaeologists uncovered big bones and teeth, pig bones, sorry, pig bones and teeth, suggesting the villagers farmed the animals along with a range of colorful pottery and jade objects. Some of the skeletons and cultural artifacts bear the marks of physical damage which may have been intentionally inflicted after the burials, which the team think could have been politically motivated in some kind of local power struggle. It's worth bearing in mind that these early findings are only preliminary for now and have not yet been peer-reviewed by other scientists, but what's perhaps most exciting about the find is just how much left there is to discover about these ancient peoples and their way of life. So far, just 2,000 square meters of the Zhao Jia site have been excavated, only a minute fraction of the overall square kilometer intended to be dug up and investigated. Nobody knows what exact secrets Zhao Jia will continue to turn up, but there's a good chance we'll find out more to explain how these ancient giants grew so impressively tall and more besides. This was published by Science Alert and Sun Collective Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.